Okay, this problem is about the work done in stretching a spring. So let's say we have a Hooke's Law spring, and what that means for a Hooke's Law spring is that the spring obeys the force law, that the force vector is negative kx vector, where x is the displacement, k is the spring constant in newtons per meter. So the force required to stretch the Hooke's Law spring from 0 to 100 to varies from 0 to 100 newtons as we stretch the spring by moving one end 0.2 meters from its unstretched position. So that means that the magnitude of x is 0 0.20 meters and the force required to do that is 0 when the stretch is 0 and 100 newtons when the stretch is 0.2 meters. So the force is 100 newtons. So therefore, the magnitude of the force is equal to k times the magnitude of the displacement. 100 newtons equals k times 0 0.2 meters. So that means k is 100 divided by 0.2 or 500 newtons per meter. So that was part A. Part B is finding the work done and stretching the spring from equilibrium, so x equals 0, to x equals 0.2 meters. So because we have a variable force, that means we must integrate. Work equals the integral of f dx. So the work done, this sort of implies the work done by an outside force. So if I'm stretching the spring this way, the outside force has to be in the same direction and it has a magnitude that's equal to kx. So when I do this dot product here, f dot dx, the outside force has a magnitude kx. The, each little centimeter that I move it is a magnitude dx and it's cosine of zero degrees because the outside force is uh, in the same direction as the stretch. So in part A, we got that the K was 500, so 500 newtons per meter times X dx integrated from 0 to 0.2 meters. So the antiderivative of 500X raise the power of X by 1, that becomes X squared, divide by that new power 2, so 500 over 2 is 250 x squared, and that's evaluated from 0 to 0.2 meters. So that's 250 times 0.2 squared minus 250 times 0 squared. 0.2 squared is 0 0.04, which is 4 one hundredths. So this is 250 over 100 is 2 and a half. 4 times 2 and a half is 10 joules. And so again, because we have a non-constant force, because we have the force function dependent on x, we must integrate from the initial position equilibrium to 0.2 meters. And so we plug in, we take the antiderivative, we plug in the limits, and we come up with 10 joules.